Arizona, there's five levels of homicide. The highest level is first degree with a notice of intent to seek death penalty. That is capital murder. That is where not only are they looking for the standard first degree, which is premeditated moment of reflection homicide, but also with some aggravating factors. Uh, sometimes these are called Gretzler factors, where they're looking for heinous, cruel, and depraved, uh, mutilation of a body uh, after it's dead, um, torture, things of that nature, uh, fear of the victim before they died, uh, intentionally placing somebody in fear, stuff that you normally see on um, some of the most horrible uh, Saw videos and, and TV shows and movies. However, sometimes this is abused, and you'll see this Well, they'll charge capital murder if there's simply a, a baby death. Uh, we had a young lady who was charged with a homicide while an infant was in her care at a daycare center. Later we showed it was a medical rule out and all charges were dismissed with prejudice. But sometimes they'll actually file for capital murder. Now, I've talked about capital and first degree murder. What is second degree murder? Well, this is a little different. This involves where the standard of care is that uh, somebody was excuse me, reckless with their standard of conduct. That means, oh, let's say I was taking a gun and I thought, well, I'm just gonna fire at a paper target and I'm gonna ignore that behind the paper target is a schoolyard and bullets just start flying and hitting people. That is a very reckless standard of care. Now the problem is, they also charge this on DUI vehicular homicides and they'll say, this is second degree murder, he was really drunk. Actually, that should be charged at worst as a manslaughter. Now, manslaughter is the next level down. That is a reckless standard of, uh, or a negligent standard of care versus a reckless standard of conduct. And I know this sounds uh, interesting or we're splitting hairs, but it does matter. That's where somebody drank, they got in their car, and they were driving, and let's say they're impaired by alcohol. And I always use this as a description. If this person's car misses another one, it's a DUI. If he hits this car, and break somebody's leg, that can be an aggravated assault dangerous. If he hits the car and somebody dies, that's normally a manslaughter. Now, manslaughter is obviously a very serious charge, but many times we're able to get it knocked down to the lowest level of homicide. That is negligent homicide. And negligent homicide is just negligent actions. Now, with a negligent homicide, why is that important? Well, the penalty can be as low as probation with no jail. So that is important on these various uh, various levels of homicide that you hire a lawyer who knows the differences and knows what they're doing because chances are you or loved ones probably have been overcharged in Arizona.